Here are five secrets I use to get in a calorie deficit without even knowing it. Number one, I focus on choosing mostly low calorie, high volume foods. I'm trying to lean out for spring, but I have a really big appetite and I'm always hungry. So the volume in the food helps me feel like I'm eating a lot and without a ton of calories. So I can stay in a calorie deficit without realizing it and then basically tricking my belly into thinking it's eating all day and it doesn't know that it's getting less cows. So here are some of my favorite volume foods. Popcorn is one of the best. This is eight cups popped or 50 grams and it's the 94% fat-free Smart Pop. Oh, sorry, that's the French side. This is the English. This stuff, 160 calories for all of that. So it fills your belly up because it's full of fiber and you get a tasty treat. Strawberries, fruit is another great one because you can eat a ton, especially if you choose the right ones. Like this is strawberries and you get 140 grams or one and a quarter cups for 50 cows, you get all that. And Greek yogurt is another great one. Three quarters of a cup is 100 calories if you choose the plain. 17 grams of protein in it. So it's really gonna keep you full and you can eat quite a bit for low cal. Um, egg whites is another good one. It's 35 calories for a quarter cup and seven grams of protein. So you can have a ton of that. And then veggies is another good one. One cup of cucumbers is like 16 cows. Eat it up, our cup. Almond milk is great. One cup is 30 cows, and we get the unsweetened vanilla flavor. It's so good in everywhere that you normally use milk. We use it in protein ice cream, we use it for cereal. Get a ton for 30 calories, one cup. You can see already by these first couple things how full your belly would be on very, very low calories. So the base of our diet, we try to fill with volume. And this, like, Sassy and I have both, like Sassy's my husband, by the way, um, we've both lost 130 pounds and kept it off for eight years. And all these secrets or tricks that you're gonna hear has what helped us get and keep the weight off too. So now I'm gonna show you my next secret. Choose foods wisely, which means choose foods that you can eat the same amount of, but for fewer calories. So for example, this ice cream is caramel, Caramel sauce, or whatever it's called, um, for three quarters of a cup. <laughs> Your attention so, to detail is impeccable. Caramel with salty caramel sauce, okay? Three quarters of a cup of this is 260 cows. Three quarters of a cup of this vanilla chocolatey chunks and caramel frozen yogurt three quarters of a cup for 200 calories. So you get the same amount, but by switching to frozen yogurt, you get to save 60 cows and still eat a beautiful frozen dessert. And nowadays the frozen yogurt has amazing flavors. Like back in the day when we were growing up, they said, you want vanilla or vanilla? <laughs> like, yeah, and there are so many, like we literally choose frozen yogurt, even on cheat day, we usually pick it over ice cream because it is so good. Now, I'm gonna use the popcorn again to show you the, so the popcorn versus chips. 50 grams of popcorn, which is this that I showed you earlier, for 160 calories, or 50 grams of chips for 200, and 60 cows. So you're saving like 100 calories, you're getting the same amount, 50 grams, but look at that. You're saving cows and getting fully belly. We'll just add in what we do sometimes if we are, it's not a cheat day or whatever, and we're craving the chip flavors, we'll get yeah. those kernel chip flavored yeah. seasonings and put them on here. A little bit of cooking spray and some you know, salt and vinegar, all dressed. Sassy's even done um, a sweet and salty where he does some salt and some low cal sweetener and it's really good if you like a sweet and salty. Like a kettle um, corn. Yeah. yeah. And what I meant earlier about like choosing your fruit wisely, we eat both of these by the way, which is why they're in the house, but 50 or 140 grams of strawberries for 50 calories or 140 grams of cherries for 90 calories. So you're saving cows depending on the fruit that you choose as well. And you know, like we eat them all, it's just that when we wanna eat more, we'll choose like a lower calorie fruit so we can eat more of it, you know, for less cows. And then the other two I wanted to go through, um, barbecue sauce. So the regular version 
and the low-cal version. The regular version, for two tablespoons, it's 70 calories. And then for two tablespoons of the calorie-wise, it is 20 cals. So you get the same amount of barbecue sauce, but you're saving a lot of calories. And Nicole is not a ketchup person, but I do the exact same thing with ketchup. Yes. The no sugar added ketchup is like half the calories or even less than the full sugar. Yeah, I think it saves like 10 calories per, per tablespoon. Yeah. And then this is the other one I wanna show you before we move on is the jam. Like we love jam, but the regular jam for one tablespoon is 50 cals. And if you choose like the Smuckers, in Canada where we live, no sugar added is lower calorie. If you choose this one, for one tablespoon, it is 20 cows. So again, you're see, getting the same amount for less You kind of see what me and Nicole did in the beginning. We didn't change what we ate. You know, jam for jam, diet pop for, you know, change it in place of regular yeah. pop. Ice, uh, lower calorie ice creams. And we're eating the exact same diet and we're drop and wait quickly. And we don't even know that we're dieting. That was a popcorn seed I stepped on. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, we don't even know that we're, we didn't even know that we were dieting because literally like we we're still eating all our favorite things. We're just sneakily saving calories. And Sassy actually just said my number three. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiled it, buddy, spoiled it. That's why his name is Sassy. But we switched from drinking our calories, so from regular drinks, regular cow drinks, to low calorie or diet drinks, whatever you want to say. So for example, you're, you're only allowed to say zero now. Zero. World. You're that, not allowed to say diet. Now. That's why I said whatever you want to say, because then you can say it however you like. People get mad when you make sounds with your mouth. Yeah, they do. <laughs> diet and regular pop. So if you look here, this regular ginger ale, it's 110 cows for this bottle. And then for this one, it's zero cows. And at the beginning of my weight loss journey, I was drinking seven cans of Dr. Pepper a day, regular. They were 140 cows a can. And so when I switched, I, I wasn't ready to give it up, the pop, and I wasn't ready to lower the amount of cans I was drinking per day. So I literally switched from seven regular to seven diet. I saved myself like over 900 calories a day. And I didn't even notice because diet Dr. Pepper tastes pretty much like the real thing. So does the ginger ale, by the way. So I was saving cows without even knowing and I was getting results like crazy because I could stick to it. Because it was like a sneaky way to do it, you know? Number four, this is a tricky one. Use less cooking spray. So I fell for this because cooking spray on a lot of the cans, like this one, will say that it's zero calories. So I was spraying the heck out of all my pans because I'm like, well, it's zero calories, right? So I'll just spray my pan like crazy. And then I realized that companies don't have to put the calories if it's under a certain amount. So if you check all the cans of cooking spray, some will actually tell you, like this one, a half second spray is actually five cals. So here was me going five to 10 second sprays, like racking up the calories. And think of how quick a half second is. Who actually does that? Like, no, I'm going, <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized I was like, minimum 50 calories of spray without even knowing I was adding on to my daily calorie intake going, well, why am I not losing weight? Oh, I was adding calories in this. So now I, I very carefully put just enough so nothing sticks in the pan and I save myself a ton of cows and because it's cooking spray, I'm not taking away food and so I don't even know, I, I'm not even missing the cooking spray. And that is where some of the confusion comes in. Like a lot of people will say, well, calories in, calories out doesn't work for me. I'm eating in a calorie deficit and I'm not losing weight. And there, an example that I just gave you is you might not even know that you're eating more calories than you think because you think you're eating zero cows in something and it actually has calories. So always check all the labels and be aware that, you know, if it says zero cows, it's still gonna have a few and account for that. Like a lot of people think black coffee is zero calories. I did for a long time. It's like five or 10 calories for the cup that we have. Yeah, uh, we have a big cup and I usually account 10 calories now, for it. No, it's not a lot, but you can see if every but, single thing is under reporting or you're miscalculating everything during the day, up. how it adds up to hundreds of calories. But look at that though, the 50 calories that I was using in cooking spray Plus, if I didn't count my 10 calories of coffee, that's 60 calories a day this that I'm 50 eating. 50 calories, a whole big bowl of straw. 
And you know, if you don't, if we didn't count those things, 60 cows times seven days a week, that's a lot of calories you're not accounting for and you don't even realize it. So just account for cows in everything. Check if you're thinking you're in a calorie deficit, you might not be. And kind of spend your calories where you like it the best. Exactly. Like in the foods that matter to you versus spray. That's exactly, and that's what like, you know, this makes a big difference. Like I'm willing to sacrifice ice cream for frozen yogurt because I get the same amount, but for less cows, you know, <laughs> things like that. And my, um, oh, I forgot the other one I just wanted to show you because like you don't always have to choose the low cal version. Um, so when I was telling you to choose your foods wisely, these are both regular ranches, but check all your labels because for the GV version, two tablespoons is 140 calories. And for the regular Hidden Valley Ranch, two tablespoons is 120 calories. So it doesn't even have to be a lower calorie version. You might be able to just find a different brand that has less cows. So now we'll go on to number five, and that is um, remove calories a little at a time in places that you won't notice. So like I said, I'm leaning out right now for spring. And what I did was I was putting on top of my protein ice cream, one teaspoon of low calorie chocolate syrup. But I was like, you know, I'm really not gonna miss it because I love the protein ice cream. It has really good protein and stuff in it. That tastes good. So I decided to remove that. I didn't notice but the one teaspoon had 17 calories in it. So I was saving 17 calories a day, and that adds up to like 119 cows per week, and that actually helped me keep losing. And if you get huddled flavored protein. Which is exactly what I was gonna- It literally tastes like dessert. <laughs> like, um, I picked this flavor because I'm digging this right now, and we had this one You're tonight. Digging it? I'm digging it. Is that, is that for cool, what cool people say? Yes. Yeah, definitely. okay. <laughs> so anyway, Huddled, HTLT Subs. Code Nicole to save yourself 10%. They have amazing flavors. And literally, Kyle and I don't even miss the chocolate sauce because this is so good. It flavors, it's literally fruit, ice, and almond milk that I use. They have s'mores, they have cereal flavors. Yeah, and like the Luckier Marshmallow is like one of my favorites, but this one, I'm digging it right now. Straw Cheesecake. Oh my gosh, does is it good in protein ice cream. Okay, so that's it. Basically, you know, I'm leaning out. I've lost a little over eight pounds in seven weeks by doing this and I was able to keep off 130 pounds, get it off and keep it off by doing all these secrets. If you guys wanna know like the exact meals and portions that I ate to lose the weight, code Nicole, links are down below to buy my weight loss eBooks and code Nicole will save you 10%. I hope that this helps you guys see that you can eliminate cows in a sneaky way so that you can still enjoy what you're eating. Just read the labels, choose your foods wisely, and you won't even realize that you're eating less. And that's what we did, and we love our food every day. Hope you enjoyed this vid. If you did, give me a thumbs up because that helps out the little algorithm. And I'll catch you in the next one, cuter Roonies. Peace, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. You know I have an edit button on this, right? No, you're gonna like that it. That last 30 seconds, Guys, so they're never gonna see it. Comment, okay, tell them, goodbye. Sassy, leave it, <laughs> Sassy, leave it, tell them, Sassy, leave it. <laughs> see ya. Bye. They won't ever see it. They'll love it. Bye. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it.